Hey, Spaldum here. What's up, YouTube? So, I finally returned my Note 7. Well, Note 7, it's fun while it lasted. Time to drop you off. I even did a little testing before I sent it back, trying to get it to see if the battery would explode and nothing. I left this on last night, running YouTube videos, and right now it's being quiet. But it looks like it's still on. It's in screensaver mode. Went all night long. Turned on. AMOLED screen at full power. All the features enabled. Bunch of stuff running in the background. Still working great. See what happens when you put a magnet on it. reacts to it. I did everything I could to overload that phone and it didn't even get hot. You know, I understand there was a few bad incidences and it couldn't be ignored, whatever. It's unfortunate. Samsung, I'm done with you. I really didn't like the curve edge. I've got another phone I like a lot better now. So if you can guess what my new phone is, put it down in the comments. Tell me what you think it is. Hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a very good idea what it is. But let's talk about what's coming up in the future. Qualcomm has now announced their 835 chip. So I expect any flagship phone coming out in 2017 to have an 835 chip. And hopefully that will give them that extra edge that the Google Pixel has on the camera. Faster processing, faster photo taking, just really snappy and quick, great processing, really clear photos. One of the reasons that that camera does so well is the processing. It actually has to do with the Qualcomm 821 Pro processor it has in there. Take the camera from the S7 Edge, put that in there, add the Google Pixel's electronic stabilization, and it's processing capabilities and you have an awesome camera. 12, 13 megapixels really is enough for a camera phone, especially if you want low light performance. If you really have to have a zoom, put an attachment on it that allows you to actually add lenses. The one that comes with the Moto Z Force is better than the Hasselblad add-on. An S Pen or some kind of stylus. The uh, phone I got now does have a um, capability to take quick notes you know, take a screenshot right on the screenshot which is something I really liked about the, the notes that Samsung has put out I can do it on the phone I have now it's not as feature rich but it still works I just wish it had a stylus I mean I can get a stylus and carry it with me separately from the phone but it's really nice to have it like right there in the phone we can get to it easily waterproofing and dust proofing so the phone I got doesn't have any of that up for that. It'd be nice if it was actually in the phone because even a case, you know, your phone gets dirty sometimes and I'm not going to carry around a big bulky case everywhere I go all the time. You know, life happens, right? And we take these really miniature computers with us everywhere we go and we really need a phone that can handle going anywhere. I like the Google Pixel had at least a little bit of dust water protection but it was so boring I had to go some more features on it something with a, a display that was always on doesn't necessarily have to be the main display 
place. Be safe. Have fun out there. Why else would you go on an adventure?